All right, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath this standard in the banner of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and uh, hey, you know that we at the end of days, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure a majority of brothers have seen uh, the video where let me let me just pull it up real quick. So I can. video with, uh, I guess the guy's name is Paul Warner, and, um, it's called If I Was Were Satan, okay, so I'm gonna play it for you real brief, if I Paul Harvey were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the Prince of Darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old, I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who want it until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey. So there you have it, right? So you see all this happening. You see pandemics. You see everything that was in that little, uh, I don't know what to call it maybe a poem or a speech from Satan himself alright when you look at it all that's that's where we are right now man because what I'm about to show you is 
Satan himself promoting pedophilia, okay? When I say that, you know, Netflix has had two run-ins with pedophilia shows, man. Okay, and this next uh, thing I'm about to show you is another pedophilia uh, program that Netflix is going to push, man. Okay. And this one is called One second. It's called uh thing to uh, have it's called cuties. Okay. And it's about a uh, uh, eleven year old twerk twerking dance group. Eleven year old twerking dance group. You heard it. Eleven. Okay, if this doesn't promote pedophilia, okay, what what else is it doing? Okay, we we all heard of the uh, the little gay boy that joined the burlesque show, and that was pedophilia. Okay, then Netflix they had this other show called Big Mouse, and that was pedophilia. Okay. Everybody knows in these large organizations and corporations such as banking groups, uh, Hollywood, okay, these uh, these entertainment companies, pedophilia is a thing that they, you know, they master in, okay? It's left-hand magic to them, Okay? And when you look at, uh, I won't even play the, the clip of it. I can't even watch the last two two seconds of the clip. Because it's actually young girls twerking. At 11 years old. With provocative clothing on. Okay. Well, I have watched twerk videos of women. Okay. And it's exactly what it is. It's hoish. It's slutful. All right. Whether it be an art form or not, it's, it's still promoting the lesser. Okay. The lesser degree. So for them to put an 11 year old girl on the screen and have a twerking. And what what same minded man or woman is going to go watch something of that magnitude I want to know nothing but a pedophile that's what I think okay this is the this is and mass amounts of people are just letting it go on man you see and uh, nobody's, how can I say, it? nobody is not stopping it from coming out. When you talk about Netflix, right, they're just letting it go on. But, uh, you know, people are outraged, man. It's the same thing with the, the goddamn Catholic priests. With the Catholic priests, they have the same notion going on. You see what I'm saying? For years, people have... Uh, Accepted pedophilia and and Catholicism, all right, and nothing has ever happened. Just like nothing is going to happen when this movie comes out, all right. Babylon the Great is getting sicker and sicker, and this is why the Lord is going to destroy this place. Okay. And the parents, the parents that allow their kids to be involved in such movies. What What does that say about them? You see? So there's so much going on that uh, uh, Satan thinks that he's got to win, so to speak. But, you know, ultimately, he doesn't. All right? So I'm going to bring out a couple of scriptures and then I'm closing on out, man. But I just wanted to alert uh, the brotherhood to... Uh, 
to the madness, all right, that we know that goes on in the promotion of pedophilia, all right? Because this is, this is full-blown promotion of pedophilia right here, all right? So in the manner of these uh, Salaki, I had to take a call. But in the manner of these, uh, these Satanists attacking the world in the manner that they are, man. That's why this place is falling apart, okay? You're full-on promoting pedophilia, okay? You want pedophilia to be a part of the norm uh, sexuality, okay? Which the norm sexuality is man with a woman, period, Okay? So with all that, you're going to bring yourself into the uh, the time that we're approaching upon now, man. The final judgment of this place. All right. And the scene. With, uh, sick, demented uh, shit that you're doing. All right. So I just want to bring this out and then I'm going to close it out, man. I don't have to talk about this all day, but, you know. It is what it is. It's, it's Satan. You've been found out, man. This is Isaiah 47 and 9. It says, But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of the sorceries, of thy sorceries, and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. Okay? So you're not even, you're not even covering it up no more. And this is a full-blown pedo film that you're making okay it says for thou has trusted in thy wickedness thou has said none seeth me okay and that's why you got you're gonna when you read that comment board of the guy you're gonna see uh, some people on there talking about it's art well I don't I don't give a goddamn if it's art unless it's a full grown lady doing twerking which is is a disdain anyways okay I don't want to see no goddamn 11 year old girl twerking what the fuck is that okay that's why you're going to be punished the way that you're going to be punished it says for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness thou hast said none seeth me Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else besides me. Yeah, because the reason why you, you do these sick things that you're doing, you're thinking that there is no most high, man. You're thinking that the Lord is a figment of imagination, and you're thinking that you rule the known world. Okay, all that you see. But the Lord is going to come down with the kibosh. Okay, and rain uh, 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 fire down upon your, your head, man. Okay, it says, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises. Okay, why? Because in your head, you don't think that it's the most high, but that's where that's where the judgment is going to arise from, man. Okay, and that's one. This is your end, Esau, Edom. Okay, for your disgusting, defiled ways, man, and being profane outside the temple. Okay. And mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. Look at the unweaving or un unraveling of America. This place ain't gonna be able to be saved. In a couple of months, man, it ain't even gonna be no goddamn gas, no food, no anything, man. This place is done, okay? Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Once again, because of your uh, sins have reached up to the heavens, all right, and you think that the Lord ain't taking into account all that you have been doing, man. Verse 12, it says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy, thy youth if so be 
thou shalt be able to profit if so if so be thou mayest prevail it says uh, uh you know and we know that because the gates of hell shall not prevail but what are you doing you're, you're bringing yourself closer to uh destruction man in all your pernicious ways man so, you know, Netflix releasing movies, you know, you got people talking about boycott and Netflix, which if that goes on, that's the end of Netflix, man. But ultimately, we, we want to uh, uh, get these devils on out of here, man. We want instantaneous death for these uh, abominable souls upon this planet, in beginning with Esau Edom, okay? We want that to be all done. And said with underneath subjection and the next after that destruction man so with that I want to say all praises due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakadash and double understand the elder apostles of great millstone with that I want to say Abad Babal Shalom Kwan Yasharala